Hey there, looking for an in-depth guide on tanks in War Thunder? Well, congratulations, you've hit the jackpot. Get ready to soak in information that'll make entering the game hundreds of times easier. You'll learn the easiest ways to shoot, where the most profitable shots are, what ammunition to use, and what key combinations make the leveling process faster, easier, and more comfortable. All I ask is for a like, and in return, I'll load you up with plenty of info. First things first, dive into the description. You'll find a new premium tank waiting there to give you the right start in War Thunder. Why the right start? Because after this video, it'll be easier for you to level up all nations than to correct mistakes already made and come out ahead in terms of time and in-game achievements. You will also receive 7 days of premium, 100,000 silver for purchases and upgrades, as well as boosters and a few loaner vehicles. But if you're not a fan of the default tank offered, simply change the language on the page, and after registration, a different set of equipment will appear in your hangar. Personally, I recommend registering on the English version of the page because they offer the best tank in terms of overall qualities. Since I recommend grabbing the USA tank branch, that's what we'll be focusing on. Optimal for beginners, it features comfortable machinery and some of the strongest tops. We start the game on the M2A4 Premium for free upon registration and head straight to the game settings, where we'll set up all the necessary buttons for comfortable gameplay on ground vehicles. Key bindings are personal preference, but I'll show you the important buttons and offer tips on setting them up. I'll cover more complex stuff than, hey, look, the machine gun is on spacebar, which is true, and also, here you can switch vehicle classes, tanks, planes, and ships. Hit like if the guide was useful. So, take note of the basics. First off, disable grass in the tank site, since it's only for aesthetics, not convenience. And trust me, it gives a huge advantage in battle, not just for an FPS boost, but also for spotting enemies easier. You'll see a clear example on the screen, and it's just one button. Next, know that the O key holds a powerful tool called X-Ray, allowing you to inspect the vehicle and check for damage or the tank structure at any moment. Now, let's assign aiming and zooming to the mouse wheel, press and scroll. It might not seem necessary for a newbie, but as you progress, especially beyond arcade mode, adjusting your aim becomes crucial. A little hack for peeking over hills. By default, B is for binoculars, or find it in settings and assign it as you like. The main thing about this gadget is that the binocular camera is positioned higher than the gunner's camera. And on the C button, you have a free look, possibly the most crucial thing to remember not just for tanks, but overall in War Thunder. Always look around by holding C, if you just turn the mouse around, the tank turret turns too. Imagine an enemy appears in front, but you were just checking what's behind to the left. Two scenarios here. Either you turn the tank body to aim quicker, exposing weak spots, or by holding C a bit earlier, you slightly adjust the aim and instantly send the opponent back to the hangar. Don't underestimate this key. Next up, set your keybinds for gear shifting in the settings. From the get-go, even at lower ranks, get used to using manual transmission for a more professional approach to engaging enemies. Manually controlling your speed helps avoid body sway during sudden starts and stops, making it easier to shoot from cover. Situationally, but extremely useful, don't forget about your vehicle's smoke screens. They can be used not only for concealing yourself, but also for distraction. Since smoke is visible from afar, while the enemy is distracted by it, you might stealthily flank them as they scan the smokes for your presence. However, at higher ranks, this trick won't work since everyone has thermal imagers. But at mid-ranks, especially with the ability to shoot smoke from a distance, getting creative with smoke is both possible and advisable. To know where to hit enemy vehicles, there's a super ultimate feature in the game itself. Look, select any vehicle, right-click for inspection, and on the side, you have a tool to track armor thickness and weak spots. Choose your ammunition type, and then simply shoot by clicking the left mouse button at the tank model to see the outcome. You won't remember everything at first, I guarantee, but if you keep coming back here, maybe even after each battle with an opponent you couldn't penetrate, pick their tank and probe for weak spots. This will be far more beneficial than spending hours watching various guides on YouTube. Also, remember, the game features a plethora of ammunition types, armor, and modules, each with its purpose. Knowing how to effectively use each type makes life much easier. If anything, there are more than 10 types. I will not list all of them, because at the same time, they will not be available to you anyway. Each tank, from 1 to 3 to 4 types, but it is important to remember the following. 
All you need to know about the projectiles is the initial flight speed and the type of projectile. It is cumulative, armor-piercing, or high-explosive. The initial flight speed affects the trajectory, drop, and lead needed for accurate shooting. Lower speed equals less precision. AP rounds may not explode if they don't penetrate their armor. They simply pass through and destroy everything in their path. Heat shells explode upon contact, melting a small hole in the armor and incinerating internal modules and crew with a jet of molten metal. He shells are like a brick that explodes on contact with armor, dealing damage primarily through the shockwave and shrapnel. All this can be tested in the main menu by selecting any tank. Properly angling your tank can cause many shells to ricochet or fail to penetrate due to the combined armor thickness. As an exception to the truth, there are still cool fragmentation projectiles with radio fuse. They are not much, but if they are in your arsenal, then get ready that you will hate all pilots, because it is you to shoot down aircraft the easiest, because this type of projectiles explode just flying near the target and there is already a blast wave and shrapnel will ground almost any pilot. This ammo type can also be quite effective when fired over tank turrets, hitting one of the most vulnerable spots on 80% of tanks, usually resulting in crew casualties from the shrapnel. But no matter what I say, the simplest and most effective advice is to observe how others play, where they shoot from, and what positions they take on the map. And don't rush to progress. In War Thunder, that's neither easy nor quick. You'll need a premium account and premium vehicles for that. In the description, you'll find both for new players. This is the only way to move along the branches and reach new ranks comfortably and as quickly as possible. As for pumping, pay attention to the efficiency of research vehicles in order to farm with maximum profit. Which tanks are best to play? I suggest starting with the US, as it's given via the link in the description and is pretty OP for beginners fast with good reload speed and powerful shells. Well, the beauty of War Thunder is that you do not have to play on the previous tank branch. You just choose what you want to pump and throw the earned experience points into the desired vehicle, taking into account the effectiveness of previous tanks. For example, our premium M2A4 can easily help you reach rank 3 vehicles and is effective up to rank 6, but frankly the real fun is at ranks 3 and 4. Beyond that, it gets too sweaty and painful. This information is useful and interesting, but now that you know it, what next? I recommend trying the arcade battle mode, especially if you're new to the game. Other modes have more complex vehicle behavior and may not be the best place to learn the basics. But if you're curious about the realistic mode, be prepared for challenges with more complex shooting physics, vehicle behavior, and only map markers. Once you get used to it, the arcade mode will seem too casual and uninteresting, and your path will lead to simulator battles and from there straight to the madhouse. Consider the prospects and see you in the arcade battles. Of the tanks, I recommend you pump the Americans. As from the starting vehicles, you could pick up a premium tank on the link in the description. Just register a new account. It increases bonuses to silver and experience. Then they also have a pretty nice and balanced vehicles. Up to the third rank, you have enough of it with a head. Next up, just dive into the game and remember, you'll rake in cash and experience for any damage dealt, but the real jackpot? Capturing points. It is on them I recommend you to race by choosing a fast light tank, but be careful because the light tank has almost no armor. Fly into the point, take it, create panic in the rows of the enemy, and carefully get away. The chances of success, I warn you right away, will be low. You can either live on the edge for fast progression or play it safe like most folks, which admittedly is a slower journey. If anyone's got pro tips on leveling up, minus smearing yourself in boosters, hit us up in the comments. Choose a premium tank with the highest possible boost multiplier and the lowest possible repair cost. Play to one respawn because the more vehicles you lose in a battle, the more money you will spend on repairs. The golden rule? Play smart and shoot straight. These tips might seem basic, but they're gold. For planes, it's a whole different game, but this video is not about that. For the lowdown on breezing through the aviation branch, check out our other videos. And in general, if you want more detailed War Thunder guides, check out the channel. There's enough tutorial content for a couple hours. War Thunder is not complicated, if you know the base. And this base, we will feed you, be sure. Subscribe to the channel and get regular new portions of information on game mechanics and bonuses. Recently, a patch has been released that allows all players to mine high-ranking vehicles very quickly. How and when? But if you were on the channel, you would know one of the first where, when, and what to do. In the meantime, I remind you the link to download the game with amazing bonuses is in the description. 
Thanks to them, you will save at least 10 hours of pumping and get three kinds of premium vehicles forever. Seven days of premium, 100,000 silver, experience booster, and two more kinds of vehicles of the third rank on which you can pump yourself a couple of sixth ranks for mid-game. Hit that subscribe button, give like for the info, and don't forget to jingle the notification bell to be the first in line for new guides and cool stuff. That's it folks, good luck and see you around!